Hi and welcome to my channel. So today we want to continue with the series. So we want to make the um, the character movement. So before I start the tutorial, I want to say thank you to everybody that support me. And if you want to support me, you can go to my Patreon page. Depending on the, your subscription, you're gonna have exclusive videos. Um, also, you're gonna watch the video before they are publics and also the project file from the tutorials and uh, you can have also the early access to my personal game project and I can help you create uh, games from scratch or helping um, fix uh, errors things like that and I can create for you animation blueprint and things like that you're gonna have access to my 24 uh, exclusive posts from my patreon so if you want to talk with me directly, you can go to my Discord channel. So if you need help in your project or you don't know how to follow the tutorial or have uh, some mistake or error or something like that, you can write me in the Discord. And also if you want to send me your project and game to show uh, to everybody to the YouTube channel for free, you only have to fill this form. You have to put your name, your email and what you want I do with your project or game. Also, if you want to talk with me, you can do it from here too. So all these three, they're gonna be in the description of the video. So thank you and let's start the tutorial. So enter on real. Uh, we have all this from the last video. So we have this uh, character already. So they're working. So we need to change this character to our new character because I don't want to use that one. So let's, I wanna use this man. So first we want to create the blueprint for the character. So DTA and uh, character here I'm gonna be right click the so blueprint class. They're gonna be a character. Or better, we can delete this and do it from this. So right here, right click, it's a create child blueprint class. They're gonna be more easy. So let's call this DP. I'm gonna call it man db for now because we don't have a name for this guy yet. So if you have a name for this guy, for this guy, so just comment in the comments so I can put a name for this guy. For now I'm gonna call it man. <laughs> so let's enter here and we want to change this character. So we have this one, so our character is from uh, Ur Indian 4, so we need to change this. So go to man, uh, mesh, uh, how did I go to parts? Yes. So we need to get the head because I like to use it for the main O with the head. I don't know why, but you can use whatever you want. But for me, it's gonna be this one. So in this one, I'm gonna be right click and I'm gonna say skeleton, assign a skeleton. I wanna use the uh, from the Uria engine for this one. So character mannequin UE4 mesh. So I'll place here, gonna be a set. So now it's retarget for this guy. So let's go here, go to mesh, and switch this to our guy. So they're gonna be this guy. So now we want to put the other one. So I wanna use the torso, anything like that. So let's go to torso, gonna be this one. So right click and press mesh, go to add, I'm gonna get to mesh, what I call the name for torso. So they're gonna be like this. So let's put the arms. So let's check these arms. So here go to mesh. No, yeah, mesh. So go to add, skeleton to mesh, and call these arms. Just like this. So let's do another one. Legs gonna be D1, so saying go to add, get to mess, go to legs. I have a mistake here, this is not attached to the torso, it's gonna be attached to the main mesh. So it's a mistake I have here, so let's compile and save. And uh, we need the foot or feet or what you like. It. So I wanna use this one because I don't think I don't have it anymore. So let's do here, go mess, add, go skeleton mesh. Uh, I want to put feet or foot, one of the same. I want to put shoes. Oh, ah, 
feet is okay. I don't want to take too many time to think about that. So compile and save. So we have the basic character. So later I wanted to add uh, uh, shopping places so I can buy uh, more clothes, anything like that. Oh, also hats, anything like that. For for now the, we we have our main character gonna be this guy. So now we need to attach everything together. So in the construction script, we have this already. So because this from the parent, so we only have to from here to the master. So call something like set master post component. Component. So you need to use whatever you want, but don't use mesh. You all, use the only one, all this, but no mesh. So if I use arms, it's gonna be okay. So put like that. Put arms the feet to a target go to leg so go to arm already have it so torso like that so and also we want to the mess gonna be the main so the new master so gonna be like that so on panel say we don't need the code to anymore so now everything is attached but we, we don't have the animation for this guy because they don't use money so we need to create a new animation blueprint so the best way to do it is to duplicate the half the other one we have so we need to go to uh, character mannequins go to animation i want to use this one so because i want to use the I, ik to so right click set retarget animation asset duplicate and retarget animation blueprint and here in the IQ, IK, go to non, to Unreal Engine 4, to Unreal Engine 5, no, it's the other one, to Unreal Engine 5, to Unreal Engine 4. So I want to call this, I want to re rename it anyway, but I want to say DP, so I can have already <laughs> the first part. And change this mannequin, because this is not the mannequin we have, we have the, the head, so go to head. I want to be retarget. So now we have all this stuff. So in here, I want to change this name because we already have DP. So I'm going to pull, call this DP Anim, whoops, Anim Blueprint for now. And this one, I'm going to leave it like that because this animation is not that great, but at least we have something. So let's move this to character yes so good move this to character and also character let's create another carpet a new folder and call it animation like that so we can put this inside so now we have all this stuff for the character the main character and our character from separate because I want to use all the stuff, this one for all the characters. They don't care if it's a woman, a man, or whatever. So I want to use always this main uh, character. That's better for the multiplayer too. So you don't need to uh, configure every, each of these uh, characters. Only you need to configure one of these. So that's more easy. Eh? So let's do that. So now we have the animation. So go to mesh, change this to an ADP animation blueprint you can see that is working so compile and save so go to test and also we want to go to the blueprint game mode and we want to change uh, this one here uh, where is it here so default pound class we want to change this to a uh, DP man D DP man DB <laughs> blueprint make it work uh, it's wrong here <laughs> let's fix this so go to DP is so fine. Ah, rename, so I'm gonna say BP from Brooklyn. Blueprint, like that. So, okay. So now we have the game mode done. So let's close this. And so let's test this. So now we got play. This working. So now we have the animation. The, the still making the texture. I don't know why it takes so long. Maybe they don't have the textures. Yeah, they have it. So. But the animation is a little off, down. So we need to change this. So the best way to do it 
uh, to check whatever this animation is, for example, idle. So go right click, if you wanna set, um, uh, what do you call it, asset action, you wanna um, export it. So when you export the animation to asset to real, uh, you wanna have it, well, let, let's do it. So let's go asset action, go export, I wanna call this to uh, desktop. So I wanna call this different, so let's go use idle. So let's save. So now we're gonna say that leave it like that, it's okay. So let's go to export, it's already exported. So let's save all or whatever. So now we need to put this back again to the engine. So go to DT, character, go to animation, and here, wanna be right click go again to yeah import game to dta this one so they want to be the first one so click here go wherever they go like here so here we have the one dp iro so here go open and in this tab you need to change the skeleton for our skeleton they want to be uh Unreal engine for this one yes so we it's already see the face so that is perfect and you don't need to change nothing on that. The only you need to change is the translation because when you see it's a little under the ground, so we need to fix this to probably. Uh, well, why do? Oh my God! So transform here, yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. So D one is uh, X. So this gonna be Y. D one C. So in D one, they wanna be like here. They said up and down, so gonna be C. So let's put, for example, five more. So if it said import all, import is the same. So I'm gonna import all. So now we have this. So now we need to change this animation from the animation we have. So if I, let's enter the animation blueprint. No, here, animation graph. It's a warning here. So what happened here, compile, save, that fix. So that's perfect. So let's go. Compile and save. It's a warning. Well, I fix it later. So go to location. Yes, go to war and run. And here in this plane, we need to change this stuff. No, not this one. Sorry. Here, we can real change this to idle here. So this idle, we want to change for the new idle. Like that. So let's connect this with this and delete that one. So this is the proper way to do it, the animation. So now if I press play, now we see it's already in the top. Maybe it's gonna be five something, but five is gonna be okay. But when we walk in, we have the same problem. So it's five under everything. So let's fix the, that too. So we want to need, we're gonna need probably uh, one for one, one in place and run. So right click go to asset action export here's okay i want to change this to use dp so i know that's mine so save it's okay export the same change this to whoops <laughs> while in place want to save export same run forward save so that's it so export and again to put inside the character animation so right click go to import i'm gonna say wall and play first it's gonna be the same look for the from the buddha path it's gonna gain character mannequin ue4 so you're gonna say uh, import all and also do it again so import we can choose more if you want so we want to use walk and run we have uh, two together, so open. Gonna be the same. So go to this mannequin for all. Now we have all this stuff here. So we want to that um, stuff. Gonna be not the one. Now gonna, we need this one. So I don't want to create uh, change this one because I already have it. So let's duplicate this. Oh no, we have this already. So we can change the name. So we're gonna call it. The same DP one wrong, so it's gonna be okay. Oh, okay, okay. Right click, rename this to this, so like that. 
that and put this to animation too so let's go here and we want to change this stuff so right click in the first one let's say walk in place so change this one for our new I don't remember if I move this five more uh, I don't remember well let's try if we already do it that so DB walk place and this one they're gonna be go forward so DB walk forward and this one gonna be run so DB run forward like that so save it uh, we can bound save already change the name so let's test it yeah it's already five more but you need to remember when you export <laughs> like i forgot so if you if you export again oh, oops if you export again for example this one we already assist it well whatever when they put again they said the to move the transformation i put five you need to check the new one have five too so if you if you still want to fight more if you don't you leave in zero so you need to change back to five to zero because they remember the last uh, operation you do from for the counter so <laughs> i forgot to check this is it go five more so sorry but it's already that so that's perfect so we can save all these so now we have this guy working fine i don't know why the texture they don't they mess around or something check what happened here that's working i don't know why ah okay don't worry about that for now so what next so i don't want to go to be uh, running all the time so i want to be uh, walking so the f best to check this uh, speed we need to check it in the blend space because the blend space set here for walking is 230 and for running 500 so we need to change that so let's go to dp man blueprint go to character movement if we want only this guy but i want to all the character no this one only because maybe i want to change the blend space for another person it's gonna be different speed so this one so go in character movement uh, here go with the max wall speed so uh, right now in 500 so we need to change to 230 i think uh, 230 yes so let's go to to 230 so compile and save so now we are walking it's not the best walking animation but they walk so this guy is working so we need to change this animation for another one probably but at least we had our character working in Unreal Engine 5 so let's check to the um, multiplier how they look so let's go to here and check this number for 2 why oh, do okay what 2 and this one client and also change this something small like 1000 1000 so let's check so now we have two guys yes so it's replicate so we can see our character and also they can see us moving so that's perfect so we don't need to do nothing about that because or already unreal made this uh, stuff already uh, replicate so that's perfect so now we can play uh, multiplier they're gonna see us working perfectly fine so that's great so that's it for this video i uh, hope you like it if you want to see another specific for the next video so you can comment in the comment in the comment below so thank you and let's see you in the next video so bye bye